Koshai is among the more difficult, complex fights available in Dauntless. This is due to his high damage, mobility, and unique mechanics that you will undoubtedly be unfamiliar with at first. The goal of this video is to explain what pattern Koshai follows and the best way to stay ahead of him. Let's look at his attacks. The first unique attack by Koshai is his Bed of Thorns. Koshai will spawn bulbs surrounded by thorns either directly on the player or over the healing vent. The thorns prevent players from dodging and deal damage directly to your health bar when you're walking through them. You can destroy the bulb by simply attacking, throwing a grenade at it, or bait Koshai into hitting them himself by standing behind the bulb. The last option is the most dangerous since, as I mentioned, you'll be unable to dodge at all while standing in the thorn bed. This is more of an environment change than attack, and you can get away with just avoiding the thorns. You don't have to break them all. The first thing Koshai will do at the beginning of each fight is to launch some grass needles from his tail. This attack rarely comes up again, but be prepared to dodge as soon as the fight begins. While in his standard state, Koshai will alternate between four main attacks. Scratch, charge, pounce, and tail swipe. When using scratch, Koshai will first slightly raise one of his front legs, then swing in an arc in front of his head. The attack spans nearly his entire line of sight, so your best bet is dodging towards the direction that Koshai is swiping from. When using the sword and dodging in this direction, you can immediately transition into attacking his back legs or tail. He may scratch using his other leg immediately after the first, so don't let your guard down. But if you play your cards right, you'll be behind the damage zone. You'll be able to predict Koshai's charge by watching his head. Just before using charge, you'll notice that he will lower his head, like a goat might before a headbutt. This attack is very linear, so side dodges or dodges directly towards him will be effective. Pounce is Koshai's unstable attack. He will leap into the air and descend upon you at a slower speed than you may expect. Koshai may use Pounce after tunneling underground. So if you see him burrow, this is a great time to pull out a concussive grenade or charge your hammer or axe. With the sword, I don't recommend going for the boop on pounce. You'd have to jump into the air and slash in order to interrupt. And that will more likely result in you getting knocked a significant distance away. Of course, you can use grenades on any weapon, so that's a viable option too. Koshai's final standard attack is tail swipe. Exactly what it sounds like, Koshai will swing his tail 180 degrees two consecutive times. You will most likely have to dodge two times to avoid this attack if you're behind him. Koshai has two special states, Tempest and Tower. Tempest occurs when Koshai is enraged. He'll surround himself with a leaf storm that slows you and prevents stamina from recharging. To end the storm, you have to deal projectile damage to the aura. So bring some barrage grenades, throw your axe, launch a missile, or use overdrive to dissipate the storm more quickly. The aura is also interrupted if you stagger Koshai or break one of his parts. The final unique state Koshai will enter is Tower. This occurs when you see Koshai wrap himself in a thick stalk and lounge atop it. From this perch, he will launch a leafy, heat-seeking missile that will keep you down for a longer period of time than normal. Koshai can potentially be booped while perching, but it's a damage threshold boop, so you can't just use a concussive grenade or a standard attack from a sword. Instead, you have to land one of the last two swings of triple elements or use Ardent Cyclone's finisher, then you can knock him with the sword. Otherwise, use Grim Onslaught with the axe, a charged hammer swing, or a fully charged pike missile. Just remember that the Heat Seeker will lock onto you even if you knock him down, so don't be caught unaware. Now let's talk about what weapons are best for Koshai. The best weapons for Koshai, in my opinion, are the repeaters or the hammer or axe. The repeaters may be the easiest to win with, since you can stick to Koshai's flanks and avoid most attacks with ease. But the damage potential, if you're able to land combos with the heavier weapons, gives you a chance for some devastating kill times. If you're currently struggling with Koshai, I recommend sticking to repeaters or using the sword, since these two weapons have fair damage and high mobility. But if you want to put some time into hammer or axe training, then these are the more powerful options. In the next section, I'll show you an armor set for first the repeaters and then the sword, and then some quick gameplay with both weapons to explain the different play styles you'll want to adopt to suit each build. All right, just very briefly, I'm gonna go over the two armor sets that we're gonna be using. I'm not gonna give you a whole lot of information about it. I know that's a little bit of a time suck, but here's what we're using right now. We're using repeaters with the shock barrel, the full bore, captain's grip, and lucky mag, searing prism. We've got evasive fury and agility, We've got Boreas Head, Hellion Chest, Hellion Grip, and Careback Feet. So all of these are easy pieces to farm, low-level monsters, take them out. We have a guide on Hellion, and that's really the toughest armor pieces to get. You have the Drask Lantern, easy peasy. The abilities we have right now is Molten for attack speed, Evasive Fury for attack speed, Conditioning because you're going to have to be dodging and sprinting a lot to keep up with Kosha. He's very mobile. 
Aether Gatunement and Aether Hunter for damage. Because, as I've mentioned before, Koshai's Aether Charge state is when he has the crown activated, and we can just not break the crown and be doing 50% more damage to him. Plus we have plus 3 agility just for dodge roll costs, not a big deal. Okay, so what we're going to focus on whenever fighting Koshai this time is your attack strategy. How are you going to position yourself to get a better kill time against Koshai? And my personal recommendation to you is to try to stay up on his flank. Because Koshai's attacks are very directional. He either attacks with his forward swipes or he'll attack with his tail. So there's not a lot of things that he can surprise you with that won't be an easy dodge if you're on his flank. So just try to stay, at least with repeaters, stay close to the flank and keep pounding on the legs for as long as you can. Because as you can see, he keeps trying to reposition himself because we're not at a good angle for him to hit us at all. And then with the repeaters also, just try to keep your buffs active the whole time. But it's very easy to dodge all his attacks because if you're not at his front or tail, he doesn't have anything that would sort of hit you twice easily. If you're right behind him and he does his double tail swipe attack, that's a bit of a trouble. And if you're right in front of him and he does that uh, claw swipe, I guess, it's pretty difficult not to get hit on the flip side. So I'm just continuing to stay on his flank here. That's really the key strategy. The only time you want to get in front of him is if you're lining up a full bore. And you can really do that whenever he's down or whenever he's changing states or otherwise holding still. And actually don't focus on the head because as long as that crown is on, that means he's in his Aether Charged state and we're going to be dealing a damage buff with Aether Charged. Or Aether Hunter, excuse me. But really there's not a lot he can do to get to you if you just hold tight to those flanks. And you'll need the leg pieces for most of the armor and weapons, you'll be running short of leg pieces. So using the repeaters is a great way to get the leg pieces off Koshai. The other set I'm going to recommend, we're going to be going over, is a sword, and it's going to be focusing on the tail. And here's the second build I'm recommending. This one focuses on using the Drask sword. Koshai uniquely regrows his tail after you break it, so if you want to kill him quickly, you can focus completely on the tail, continue to get your 30% damage buff against his tail, break it off multiple times, it's a lot of fun. The tail is a little bit harder to dodge attacks from than staying to the flanks like with repeaters, but I think you can get it done. So let's just jump right into some gameplay with the sword, and I'll show you a little bit about how to pay attention to him from the back. Okay, so here we are. So just remember we do have a buff to the tail. So we're going to try to focus on that as much as we can. But he does do a lot of turning and spinning, so we're just going to try to make sure to capitalize with every dodge attack. He's a very mobile enemy. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to get in a lot of hits whenever we're just unnaturally dodging his attack will show up right where we need to be pretty much. Now this is his Aether Charge state, so we are going to try to stagger him, but after that we're- oh, unfortunately we won't get the stagger. We sort of got trapped in there by the thorn bed, but we're going to try to focus his tail pretty hard right now because we have this buff from Aether Hunter. Oh, here he is in a state. We can knock him down with Cyclone. Now we can focus on here hard. And I forgot about the bomb, even though I told you guys not to forget about it. It's very easy to forget because you don't really see it spawn, but it always does, even if you knock him down. Whenever you are in Thorns and you can't get out immediately, the play is to keep swinging your melee weapon because while you're swinging it you're destroying the thorns that are underneath you and you'll be able to move much more once you've destroyed the ones under your feet And with Cyclone, try to actually get in this sort of area underneath his legs and next to his tail or head. Because then you'll be hitting him with more than one part of the rotation. Cyclone is 
I consider it a second best to overdrive, but it is fun still. And it's easier to get the stagger off the tower with Cyclone. We're using the grenade to get rid of his projectile, but we broke his face anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You can see as we dodge through, we're naturally brought to his tail. He moves around a lot, so we won't stay there, but uh, we were there for a second. I don't know how much health his tail has compared to other behemoth parts, but it does seem like his takes a severe beating. So as you can see, we were focusing on the tail with our bonus damage, and we only just broke it right before he died. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone who tunes in. As always, let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything or if you have any questions about what we've gone over or join the Discord. Thank you very much, and I hope you learned something.